All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Although I'm very excited about this eBay Turbo Kit, there are a few things that have gone wrong so far or aren't super perfect, so we're gonna get into that. Number one is this stud on the turbo here had to be cut down for the downpipe to even fit on there. So that was number one. I'll overlay a clip here of me cutting that out. Number two is that with the D-Series, your exhaust manifold is on the front of the engine, just like this. And if you want your compressor housing on the passenger side over here, the back actually, the back of the compressor housing here, sorry, it's pretty heavy, actually hits the, the slave cylinder, I believe, which I don't even really know what that is, but uh, it hits part of the engine. So you have to notch the block and I don't even know how to do that. So I might run my turbo the other way. Originally, I was gonna run it with the compressor housing over on this side, and then the downpipe would actually be on this side, which is the passenger side running back. I'd have to chop the downpipe, turn it 180, and it has some weird bends to it as well, so it wouldn't just be a straight cut 180 and re-weld. It would have to need some more modification. So that's number two. Number three is the downpipe here. And if you guys can see this, See how this hole is circular? And this hole is not circular anymore. That's because I had to drill out this hole for it to even fit over the back side of the turbo there to get on the studs as well as this one. I had to drill out these two holes. So all in all, and this is the one right here where the stud wouldn't fit in. The stud was too long and it would actually hit the downpipe itself. So I had to cut that one. So all in all with eBay turbo kits, you do get what you pay for. It's not supreme quality. Now for me, I don't mind cutting parts and modifying them too much. It's actually kind of fun for me to get my feet wet in this kind of stuff and play with it a bit. But for some people that just want to bolt on turbo kit, this definitely isn't it. This requires modification and trying it different ways, seeing what works. And that's about it. These are the modifications I've had to make thus far without even putting on the turbo kit yet. This is just stuff I could see that visually wasn't gonna work out or wasn't fitting together yet. So when I take off the existing manifold here and all the OEM parts and slap on the turbo kit, I'm sure there's gonna be quite a few things that need further uh, inspection and modification. So yeah, basically if you want a bolt-on kit, this isn't for you, but if you want something that's super cheap and that's gonna need modification, but you don't mind doing that with a couple buddies having some fun, bada bing, bada boom. Thanks for watching.